panic at a home in Waterford today when a toddler fell 12 feet down in an air conditioning duct and got stuck. News 8's Bob Wilson talked to his mother and firefighters who got that child out. The call came in around 7.30. Three different firehouses responded to the emergency, and when they got to the scene, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. As a matter of fact, one firefighter said he looked down into the floor into that ventilation shaft, not very big, about this big by this big, and there was a 14-month-old baby way down in the bottom of it. Christy Mendez frantically calling police and fire for help. Her 14-month-old son, Elijah, had pried off the grate on a floor vent and had fallen down inside. Now I hear screaming. So I, got, I ran in, and at first I did not see him because I didn't think to look down. I looked in his room, and I was like, Elijah. And then I heard him screaming again, and I looked down, and I was like, oh, my God, he's in the vent. He's in the vent. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I was like, how do I get him out? This is a picture looking down the actual duct. Firefighters say baby Elijah fell from the second floor hallway through the wall of the first floor and into the basement where he got stuck in a bend in a crawl space. The baby's grandmother ran over from next door to help. What could you see when you looked down the vent? Ah, uh, him screaming, crying, save me, save me. And that's what firefighters did. Three of them entered the basement crawl space and began cutting and unscrewing the ductwork with power tools, which was difficult, they say, because of the position of little baby Elijah. His hands were over his head. Um, and he was in a position where he couldn't get him back down, and he was sandwiched from the front and, and from his backside. You know? While firefighters worked to free the baby, the chief and mother were on the second floor watching from above. The mom we had up on the second floor with us talking to the child, keeping the child calm. We caught up with the family while they were going to buy screws to make sure the grate didn't pop up again. Mendez says she is grateful to firefighters for saving her boy. They got him out as quick as possible. And they stood calm to try to keep me calm because I was freaking out. Everyone was really like it was a good team. One of the reasons that firefighters are putting out word about this accident is they're asking everybody to please check your floor vents. If you do have those type of vents, make sure they're screwed or bolted to the ground so that no one can get inside. We're in Waterford. Bob Wilson, News 8.